episode number 26 of the Muddy Mockle Fully Actual Podcast. And um, yeah, we're filming on a Wednesday night, and usually we film on a Monday, but um, we've pushed things back a bit just because, um, I don't know if, if many of you have seen, I don't know a lot of the website members have seen, but bozzy has been quite sick, and um, he's kind of been told that he could go at any moment, so just kind of, um, yeah, dealing with that. Um, so yeah, it kind of started on Saturday, where Michael and I went to go see fucking Gary V. And then I came home and he was kind of unresponsive, just lying on his little couch. So I just scooped him up, took him to the vet. And the vet um, found um, all this like fluid around his heart. And apparently that can happen from heart damage or from having cancer on the heart. So they drained it. They stuck a big needle in him and drained it. And all the fluid went into his lungs. And then um, he came home and well, they did a bunch of tests on him. And they saw that yeah, there was a mass on his heart. So the vet basically said, um, if it fills up again, like, could kill him, obviously, but, um, yeah, that, he's, that he doesn't have long left. It's just kind of draining. It's just kind of a temporary fix. Um, so, yeah, we just kind of been, so I've just been hanging with Boz a bit and just spending a bit of time with him, but fuck me, it's rough having a dog, eh? I don't think I'll ever buy a dog again. It's too much. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of love, and then it's just, the, the ending is never fun. Yeah. But if you really think about it, because he's not really a dog, like you had the best dog that was, or yeah. still do, and it was 10 years plus of the best memories ever. Yeah, it's just so shocking because yeah. he was so fucking ha- happy and healthy. I literally took him for a walk Saturday morning. He was running around and then boom, just totally fucked. So even today, like today is like, looks just like he normally does. He's just running around, lots of energy, he's like a bit playful and stuff. But it just turns so quickly, so... So nice with dogs, though. They're so in the moment. People will be like, oh, I'm sick. I know I'm sick. And they'll be whinging and lying in bed and getting everyone to look after him. Bosley's like, I feel good right now. I'm going to run around. I'm going to go say hi to everyone. I hate when people don't die straight away. It's so annoying. (laughs) Yeah, I get you. (laughs) Yeah, but he's fucking... Yeah, so he's... he's, Yeah, I don't know. It really is strange how much... it's, It's almost like I've got time to prepare for an hour. Yeah, well, like, because it was Mentally? honestly one of the, probably the like, saddest moments I've had in a long time in my life. But on Saturday night, it was either choose to put him down or, like, risk him, like, being alone for the operation. And then Marty made the choice to, like, yeah, we'll go with the operation. If you hadn't have done that, you wouldn't have these few weeks or yeah. p- potentially months. Who knows? Yeah, it was the right decision. So, no doubt. Like yeah. now, well, they made it sound so like doom and gloom. They're like, oh, you know, his platelet levels are really low in his blood, so you know, us draining his heart, it could, he could bleed out, or mm. um, you know, he, he could. They can't surely they have to say that though, right? Yeah, but she really made it sound quite negative. Yeah, She's yeah, like, oh, you know, yeah, okay. a lot of the time they only have like they'll, they'll it'll be an hour after the operation, their heart will bleed again, or it could go at any moment tomorrow. Mm. Like just basically saying he's got one or two days left. Oh. The way she was saying, yeah, well, even Talking hours. That? She's like, like trying to push that it will probably fill up. Like it does fill up in hours. Like after, so it's like, oh fuck, if you have to do it again, mm. maybe, maybe she was worried too. that something would go wrong and that he'd be in pain. And oh, and then the worst part is dropping him at the vet because like he's oh, he yeah. has so many trust issues, Bosley. He has to get to know you as a human being first before he like is comfortable with you, and just dropping him at a stranger's like house. When, when all these people are touching him, getting in his personal space and stabbing him with shit. Like, it's just so traumatic for him. And then just every time I have to leave him, just he just like, even, yeah, but when before they did the operation, he just kind of looked back at me and was like, I can't believe you fucking leave and can't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, fuck. And what was so he like when you put him in the look, car? Yeah. To, what was it like when you put him in the car to come here? Yeah, he gets real nervous now in the car. He starts shaking because he's oh. scared I'm taking him to the vet again. That yeah. was the look Matt gave all of us when he had his kidney stones. Yeah. Yeah. No, but so maybe <laughs> I can't remember. You all came and visited. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was on, high. On, you, got, you got fingered by a oh, nurse. Yeah, yeah. yeah I did. It's probably fingered. like one of your fondest memories now. It's so good because my girlfriend at the time <laughs> left. As soon as she left, so I you got could fingered. <laughs> wow. And the nurse is hot. Too. That's like, oh my God. It, was like, it was a good night. Yeah, yeah, if you're watching, nurse, call up. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never have another ass like that. Did she get jealous of it? When you well, told she her. like came back in and she was like, "Hold on!" And we, like, we, like, she just, she we, just assaulted me. Were you pushing back into her? <laughs> oh no, I was in panic mode because um, it felt like I shat myself. <laughs> Grabbing himself. <laughs> did, she, did she do it with no glove? 
No, she used a glove. Why didn't you ask for no glove? I didn't even watch. I was I was in pain and panicking. <laughs> oh, uh, the, when when she did it, I never had the feeling before. This is why I'm picturing what the feeling would. Anyway, uh, the I never had the feeling before, and I felt like I'd I'd shat everywhere, like like I just pooed all over her hand. <laughs> and she's like, and so and she goes, okay, pull your pants up, and I was like, oh, I didn't shit myself. It was just your fingers. Is that what out. you said? I literally said, I said, oh, I'm, oh, I'm so I sorry. Myself. I was said, she hot? Oh, she was mega oh, hot. Wow. So that, <laughs> wow. she was, she was like a 10 and I was sitting there going, I am so sorry. Cause I thought I just, wow, should... she was that hot. Oh, she was hot. Wow. It made me know, like to the point where Did I, you get hard. I was like, oh, I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> Imagine if what she would have done if you started wanking off. Oh. During... Oh. <laughs> Call the police, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's ever happened before. Cause you're so out of it on pain. Nurses are the nicest people in the world. I just back and go, that's inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, stand back yeah. until you stop. <laughs> okay, so you do that in stop. you do that to anyone else in their profession, and yeah. your cops get called. But nurses, you you can probably yeah. get away with that. Yeah, they, they understand. Imagine doing that like a, to a teacher. They are the most understanding <laughs> people. Anyway, um, so yeah, if if we're a bit flat today, uh, that's why. Um, just yeah, it's just a bit a bit hard to try and be. It's probably the hardest thing about our jobs is to try and be funny yeah. during times of severe stress I, I was going to point out like this year has been so much stress the entire like season like the heart issues yeah and- mainly for Marty yeah, yeah. fucking <laughs> hell hey <laughs> like someone plus, else's plus, turn plus like you had to get you got married like there's been so many events on we've had some like real like negative things happen this year yeah I feel like, like this season is is just hasn't and- gotten what it's deserved either this, this, this year I feel like season 4 was fucking amazing and this year it's been a bit like other shit going on it's been a bit secondary the podcast but then also like business stress as well you've been a lot of changes there oh as well. man the new website too that's been fucking yeah. so much shit going on but yeah anyway no excuses we're fucking we're, and now as you can see we've had the week off last week this episode is not age restricted and we're not going to have this issue moving forwards anymore guys so oh, well you. let's hope and also just from the episode two weeks ago when we had Blakey on we re- read through some of the comments um, and like, yeah, we, we, we know that it's frustrating sometimes cause the, the boy, like no one's really with the, with the Shami and the, and the boy stuff, like I understand it's frustrating if you watch their stuff. Um, but it's not really our place to talk about that sort yeah, of shit, nah. especially, and if you put yourself in our position, if your friends ask you, Hey, please don't speak about something, um, live on the podcast, like as if we're going to do it, not that they've said that to us, but yeah, of that, it's not something where we're, we're going to start. We don't talk. We don't gossip about our yeah. mates, you know. And like, yeah, it's none of our business. But you look, I understand it's frustrating, but yeah, it's got nothing to do with us. So like, you know, talk to them about it. Um, it's got nothing to do with us. Like, you know, not wanting to say anything or to be secretive or anything like that. It's just not our place. So we're not going to talk about it. Um, yeah. But we are going to film fucked dodgeball number two with them all. Maybe okay, that's a lie. Sorry, shame. Huh. A few people did ask if, um, because we had obviously had a lot of the boys on, if, if everything was okay with you guys and Shami, and that's all still good as well. Yeah, look, we saw Shami, the Gary V thing. Like, yeah, we got dude. no issues with any of the boys. Okay, well, they're all they're all friends of ours. Um, and all you need to know is if anything like that ever happened at Marty and Michael, we would tell you guys. Okay, we would let you guys know what's if if a major member or something left or something, we would let you guys know. So you don't. So, but if it's their shit, it's their shit. So just ask them and um yeah other than that it's gonna we'll try and get a normalish episode out but yeah please excuse the low energy and the sorry yeah but it's just hard to try and be funny at the moment you know smoke a bong yeah oh, you guys just smoke a bong because we do have fucking we got matt versus michael we got tinder adventures james is here we got fucking we got an on this day we got a lot of po and that's got stickers it's just fucking wild so mm. fucking let's get in oh you? and tales of bethlehem will happen oh too. And yeah. yeah james has got a tale of bethlehem he'd like <laughs> yeah. to talk about yeah i do so fucking let's get the sponsors done and rip in cunt all right do you want me to take this one yeah okay all right so basically if you are hairy or not hairy or going to be hairy you need this product it does all of it your head your beard your pubes every single hair it is manscaped go to manscaped.com grab the the shaver in particular is just so good and make sure 
that you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the weed cookies kicking in. <laughs> Buy it and sell it. A lot of people ask me uh, about the little white clips that come with the shaver. If they can be replaced, they can be replaced. Yeah. And basically I use it on my balls. I use it on everything. You have to shave your balls. It's essential. Think about it. Do you get sucked off with hairy balls? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> most men don't. Okay. And it's our, our uh, code is fully actual slash 20. Fully actual slash 20. Yeah. Link yeah. in the description, guys. 20% off Manscaped. Go and buy your fucking shit. If you buy it in bulk, you could start a side business and try and sell it for more. We have done that, yeah. So if you <laughs> want to buy it more expensive, you go to our website and we'll sell it to you more expensive rate. No, but if you want don't. It, no, no. It, but if you, yeah, it, it's smart business. Because you can buy. Because they send it to us for bulk. free. They send it to us free <laughs> and, and we just put it up on our website and we sell it. <laughs> so buy in bulk it. and then try and sell it. Manscaped. <laughs> Also, oh, so you can you can go to Coles and Woolies too. You can steal a product if you're good enough. Oh yeah, you, you can could. steal it there. You can Julian uh, Woods plenty steals, of, steals plenty of ways you can get it without actually having to pay for it. Okay, or if you're too lazy, you can be fucked out. Just can't go fully actual twenty. Um, so good. For, also for women. Yeah, I get a bit, just a now, little bit. Okay, AG one. Okay, basically, what happened? This is a pure example of. What Today. case in point of what happens when you take AG1. Yep. Today, Mr. Brown walked in or huddled in like a pirate, sort of stumping his way to his bed. He was fucking fucked. gross. He was so fucked up that like he could hardly move. He hasn't he had no energy. So disgusting. I forward thinking went, <laughs> fuck it. I in, I made me and him an AG1. I sculled mine. I actually really like the flavor. Gave it to Matt. Probably about 45 minutes later. He arose. I was quicker. From the darkness of his bedroom. He was lying in the darkness of his bedroom. Fucking So it gross. brings you back from a hard day's work. You can go back to a podcast, still have energy, and it sort of fixed his knee a bit. 75 vital nutrients and minerals. Go to fucking... There's a link in the description of this, but um, at ag1.com slash fully actual, I think. Some shit like that. Just check the link in the description. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah it um it's a subscription that just rocks up at your door you have it every day it's good for you bye it's also green which is cool if you like the color green and it's also for women yeah also for women it's like for both equally and like all the genders you can have it if you're a like a bicentennial a man fricks. or if if even kids are recommended sorry what about what about our third sponsor? Oh, <laughs> the most important sorry, one. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, so we have a website. Look, there's a bag up there. You probably can't see it on the wide angle. It's up there. And we're going to be filming High Hiking Part 2 soon, which is fun. And, fuck, while we're on the topic of website filming, man, we filmed... So this is like last week. We oh. fucking filmed, attempted to film a website video called Activities Day Vlog Part 2. So we've done one of these before. So it's me, Michael, and Julian... And we each pick an activity. So I pick an activity and Julian and Michael don't know what that activity is. We go and do that activity and they have to participate. And then it's the next person's choice and the next person's choice. And oh my God, this would video this. Okay, fucking picture this, right? This, we, we've, Julian's like, all right, for my activity, it's at nighttime and you guys are going to have to be blindfolded and, and fucking earmuffed. And like, so it's complete. We don't know what's going on. He put, puts us in a van in the van and just fucking starts driving for like 40 for 30 minutes or something and we don't know where we where we are i'm pretty sure it was longer and he he gave us hints throughout the week because we were a bit worried because julian's a bit unpredictable he was like he's like he made it sound like it was going to be something physical and i kind of fell for that i was like oh surely it's just going to be something physical and um you know saying like oh you know they need your shoe sizes and all this i was like yeah, wear active gear and uh, yeah, stuff like that. So um, he puts us in the van. We pull up. We're, Michael and I are trying to figure out what the fuck it is, and then fucking one by one, Michael gets dragged out first. And Mike, as he's getting dragged out of the van, goes, "Oh, I know what it is." So Michael, like, and again, Michael didn't have very long to prepare, so it didn't really doesn't matter. But like, 
<laughs> it was fucked. I, the, the only, I literally was like, I'm getting dragged to into a fucking cage or something to fight some cunt right now. <laughs> and, and like blindfolded ear pup plugs and ear muffs on. So like you can't hear a thing. You can't, you can't hear anything. You can't hear a live crowd or anything. So I get, see, uh, James and Julian start taking me. They're playing music in the, in the headphones. So I literally can't hear anything or I haven't seen anything for like an hour. And man, your mind just starts playing tricks on you at the top of the stairs before you guys led me down those stairs you guys were like pushing me against a wall and I yeah. in my head I was like oh my god they're putting me into one of those slingshot things <laughs> yeah. yeah Marty full started like battling against us like, yeah, I was like, yeah. away and yeah, yeah I was like fully thought oh my god I'm, I had to like pull his headphone out and be like relax you're okay like calm down <laughs> hearing, hearing James's voice would calm me down like, you could, and yeah, then like, fucking yeah. uh, they, I just get dragged forward suddenly and then blindfold off and I'm staring at a live fucking audience like f not a massive audience like 50 people in this small bar and I'm it's, I look around and it's a fucking stand up open mic night <laughs> It was and so go. Yeah, and it's just like five yeah. minutes. Immediately, gone. like fucking panicked, and then like I haven't heard Michael's. Apparently, Michael got more laughs than I did. It, it was just so bad. Like, <laughs> I just wish I had at least like, just five minutes to think of something because I would have just told a story or something. I was if I was in a calmer state of mind, but it was just like panic, and then like they're waiting for you to say something. They're waiting for you to say <laughs> something, and then it was just straight to like fucking pedo jokes and just a oh, fuck. Oh shit. no, you both went to like. Like, like the worst like thing that would annoy everyone <laughs> yeah we'd said some fucked up shit but I do not regret it and it was comedy everybody yeah so we think you know afterwards it's incredibly traumatic it's like the shit you have nightmares about like getting you wake up and you're on fucking stage doing stand up it's like very oh man it was just I was just cringing for two days straight just cringing whenever I thought about the shit that I said just very unfunny very shit but a great entertainment for everyone who knows what's going on and so you had your ass out the whole time yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah I was pulled my for some reason, was... Marty pulled his pants down. I think he thought that would be funny wherever he was going, but I think he somewhat just forgot that it was still out. Well, I thought, you know, oh, this is probably the only funny thing that's happened. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just Get that I had my ass out a bit. A... And to be honest, there was a moment where you I was You said like, it, didn't you? Yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm going to show you guys my asshole. Yeah, I'm glad I, you didn't. And I, so I, am I. I oh, kind of wish you like, did. There was like 18-year-old like, girls would... in that room. Oh. The, yeah, true. It would have been a full... And everyone was like laughing and kind of like, like you know... Gene me up like yeah yeah go on but jokingly but I, at the time you're just so full of adrenaline and I you're think like, that was just Matt I think <laughs> Matt was the only one was like yeah, do it in my yeah, head I was like I want you to do it because I was, I was like, in the front oh, row this I could like, be bad yeah, yeah do it well, but, uh, like, I'm pretty yeah. sure Amber was like no 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 <laughs> oh <laughs> my don't. god dude thank god because you just have this crazy energy going through you just don't know what to do you're just <laughs> so fucked in the head cunt yeah. oh. oh man so cringe I did laugh hard at the like your like the cringe like I could see everyone going like freaking out yeah. and I, that made oh. me laugh but then I was putting my head in my hands by then oh I filmed <laughs> the audience Marty I should show you I've got just the, the whole time I just filmed the audience oh reaction. no I don't want to see there it there was a lot of that what you're doing right now that's a lot of what happened oh my really? god really yeah, yeah no Amber was, Amber was dying she like kept putting her he head in her hands like this and oh, what was I like good. what were they like for me <sighs> were you oh I wasn't in I was in oh, the car with Marty was, for yours I, it was hard to look around because I'd yeah, but I, I'm a, both, I think for both of you, I think more for Marty, I'd put my head in my hand. Oh, no, man. <laughs> well, they sort of, everyone knew what was coming when you came out. So they, I don't know. And yeah. maybe people expected Michael to be as random and out there as he was, but they probably expected you yeah, to be a I little know, bit better. Dude, that's what I mean. That's the worst part because people will expect, oh, you know, thought you'd be somewhat Michael's funny. the shock it's humor. Okay, I can yeah. just be a bit retarded. Yeah, yeah. yeah and your, your yeah. improvisation on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, dude, that's what I mean. That's what I was like. I just wish I had like two minutes just to without the pressure of I wish you just got your phone out and, out and just called did, someone and did a prank call oh yeah see so many great ideas yeah. that I wish I just had two minutes to think oh, of oh yeah that would have been brilliant yeah I mean great yeah. just call Peter it was dude call. fuck that's yeah. such a good idea yeah that's it was not rough. a bad comedy imagine a, a dude who just came out every time and just did a prank call for five minutes <laughs> it would be so annoying if they like hung up straight yeah, away true. or something yeah, but yeah, yeah. you could still do pizza 
Yeah. It always works. But yeah, so that so we're like, fuck, this is gonna be great footage like, after the trauma wore off. But then we realized looking back at the footage, Dylan's like, Oh my god, the audio wasn't fucking working on the camera. Oh man. Really? So yeah. Dude, it is the closest I've come to like a full blown tantrum since working at Marty and Michael. Uh, I pretty much got there. I was like eighty percent there. But it's oh. no one's fault. It's just yeah, the it's just fucking, fucking Well, it was somewhat it, my fault. No, no, no it, you, you don't know how to operate dude, a camera. It happened to mean? us a couple of weeks ago for when we did the makeup experiment. It happens Man. all the this time. This fucking the plug was like pushed the whole way in. Sorry, that's a that's a bad visual. <laughs> but like the whole way in, and literally I just need to push it one fucking millimeter further to hear this like this clicking oh, noise dude, right dude, at the those end. Those things yeah. happen. Yeah, and it's like honestly, <sighs> so but so much rage. But we managed to salvage because there was the venue filmed it as well. So we're gonna use their audio for that. But the audio is just gonna be a bit shit for two thirds of the video. But yeah, yeah, that's gonna be on the website. And I'm so sorry. Julian said the audio was actually pretty good. Yeah, so yeah I heard that. It, yeah. And we're going to, any bits that we don't have good audio for, we're literally going to dub funny shit over the top. So I actually think that comedically might be amazing. Yeah. It'll be quite yeah, funny, I reckon. Um, the video is not oh ruined. Man, It'll be but good. Yeah, fuck me. Anyway, um, that's our up. website. I want to have another go at stand up one day to redeem myself. I think you slightly. should. Too. Yeah, me too. I think you should too, Mark. Because that was just so fucked. But anyway. Well done. Everyone. I would love to see you do five oh. minutes of stand up comedy, Brown. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Brown, that would be so Brown. I did sit there and go, because there was this small part of me that was, because Julian was like, you sit here, Brown. And I was like, I'm getting fucked. I'm going to get, <laughs> they've fucked me. And I, I grabbed him as he left and I said, this has nothing to do with me, does it, Julian? He goes, no, 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 I can't, no. And just walked off. I was like, fuck. And then you I can't was, trust. And I said to Amber, I was like, Amber, you don't, there's nothing like going on. She's like, oh, no, not that I heard of. I was like, and Amber was very trustworthy. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, okay, but I just had this panic. Once you guys were done, <laughs> I had this panic that you were going to turn around and go, like, Oh, next up, Matt Brown. And I was like, oh. oh my God. And then I was on the, I'd have to stand up because- oh. Were you thinking would, about what you'd say? Oh, the whole time. <laughs> the so whole good. time. And I was like, uh, and I knew, I knew it was, just, I, I, in my head, I was like, I'm just going to tell a blockbuster story and I'm just going to go from there. Yeah, <laughs> fuck man. So fucked. It was just like, had no idea, zero. Completely did not, was not expecting that at all. Yeah. And then the blindfolds removed. Yeah, anyway, fuck me. You'll see and the other two activities. It made fantastic viewing. So yeah, get on there. Get on the website and watch that one. Look who it is, boys. Bozzy. Bozzy. You're talking about Boz. I thought you were talking about your your wife. Bozzy. Here he is. Hello, darling. Come here, Bozzy. No, he wants to hang out with Mon. Yeah, he does. He's fucking obsessed with her lately. She gets a bigger wag than I do now. (laughs) Good boy, Bozzy. Oh, he might struggle. Yeah, he's a bit fucking weak. But he's hanging in there, like, and look at him. He looks yeah, fine look at right him. now. He's looking good. I wish people could see him a bit more. Call Bozzy, him over. Bozzy, a bit come here. Bozzy, come here. Come. Oh, come here, darling. Good boy. Good, good boy, boy Bozzy. Yeah, he's good boy. Eh? It hurts him to sit down. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, all right, let's fucking uh, move right along, eh? Let's get on this day out of the way. Oh, it's probably one. time for a bong break. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bong break. <laughs> I can bong, bong break. Oh, everyone, have a massive fat bong for us, please. We'll be back with <laughs> On This Day, Mad vs. Michael and Tinder Adventures. <laughs> Cut that card. <laughs> and we're back. And we've had a little bit of weed too. We're a bit high now. <laughs> Matt, you work at Wholesome. How dare you? <laughs> I have not taken any weed. <laughs> yes, you did, mate. You just had a big fucking pop. It was just an edible, though. They don't Look come at up him playing system. with his computer he, now. He never does that. And he blows his beautiful, big, thick smoke Stop rings. Stop pointing out the things I'm doing. <laughs> and then he stabs his hand through like that and sits back. <laughs> Good point, Michael. <laughs> that likes prostitutes. Oh. <laughs> no, well, recently, this so is true. So many lies. No, this is true. Matt Brown with some random bitch, she had an abortion. Why do you keep <laughs> saying that to people? She did. That is also untrue. Okay. Mate, come on, as if we'd make that up. Anyway, <laughs> Matt Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. <laughs> Today. 
bottle of cum. cum. And this is a segment where Matt and Michael go head to head and battle each other every single week. And whoever has won the most battles by the end of the season will get to keep Matt's bottle of mints that sits and divides us. I want to bet. I always want to bet when this happens. <laughs> All right, I want to bet with. You're it's quite the gambler in sort of. Oh, I love it. Uh, it's currently fourteen eleven to Michael. Michael won last week, um, and it's yeah, it's it's close. Fourteen eleven. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. I yeah. heard. Remember, you're only two weeks behind last week. I Man, it was thirteen eleven at one point. I think was there ever a thirteen twelve? Or did I make that up in my mind? Yeah, I thought I was one up. One no, up. one up. Don't you no. ever oh. say you were ahead? Did you listen to what I just said? <laughs> okay, sorry. Apologize. <laughs> Last out. I, I thought I was one. Be- I thought I was one behind. Okay. <laughs> Oh, maybe. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, I, look, we don't fully know what the score is. We think oh, it's we can't 14, do that. 11. We think it's 14-11. Right. Someone did make a comment about the score, and I didn't quite. It's anyway, 14, co- let 11. us know in the comments, please. Can you please check for us, guys? Oh, that's yeah, so yeah. lazy on our part. Do, do work for us. Yeah, can you go through all our episodes okay, and yeah, check look, the we'll score? Do it. We'll do it. It's either 14-11 or 14-12. Yeah, that's it. And 14 yeah. is generous. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, to be honest, guys, I haven't thought of the Matt versus Michael this week. Um, so we can come up with it together. Oh, okay. All right. Matt, so we all campaign. have to agree on it. Or how about like, yeah, campaign. So I'm I'm campaign? trying to sell one. He's You're trying to sell one. Whatever they both agree on that we sell gets chosen. It has been decided that this week. <laughs> He's got it already. Matt who's, who's Michael, the better campaigner? Who's the better campaigner? Exactly right. <laughs> and then we, whoever wins, <laughs> okay. we do that next week. Oh, love it. Yeah, so okay. you're both going to try and convince us to do a Matt vs. Michael, and that's all oh, for next so week. That, yeah. You're coming a genius, up, Mark. Coming up with a Matt vs. Michael is the Matt vs. Michael this week. It's a twist. Okay, okay. okay. I'm going to go with, I'm going to bet on Brown. I just, I feel like the voice, he, he's got a beautiful voice. It's got, it gives him an advantage. He's got feathers. You're going to work, well, have to work hard tonight. Yeah, my outfit's Michael. not really politics. Yeah. My, no. Matt's ears. He yeah, looks he trust like a pedophile. Doesn't he? <laughs> so that, oh, yeah. That works perfect. <gasps> I let him look after my so campaign speech. <laughs> okay, so what no, you're you just trying to convince me and James that you want which Matt, what Matt versus Michael you want us to do. Oh, okay. Shit, my brain's dead. Um, <clears throat> all right, uh, paper scissors rock scissors goes. My first. brain's in the same spot. Do we yeah. treat this a bit I like think- a um, beauty pageant? Like we get to ask them a question yeah. and see how they answer. Yeah, it? pretty much how we when we brainstorm for video, it is pretty much exactly that. Scissors paper rock. Yeah, scissors paper rock scissors. Oh, hang on, hang on, I'm out of think three. Scissors. Sears, 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 paper, paper, paper rock. rock. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> so, who do you He's want to go first? first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt. Pussy. <laughs> you're up, Matt Brown. What? Have you even thought of what topic you're going to go with? Yes. Fantastic. You can come in, babe, if you want. That wasn't my question. He'll just do what you do, babe. You just do whatever you do. He'll just follow you around. It's probably weirded out that everyone's just been following them last few, few days. <laughs> Hello, hello. You're a good boy. He skipped you then, Matt. Did you notice that? <laughs> yeah, I was smiling at him. He knew Imagine I was if they be found out that cancer was <laughs> contagious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He's just been licking your face. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, that's a dark joke. <laughs> oh, my darling. Okay. okay, are you ready? Oh, oh, that was very convincing. That was confidence. That was because confidence. I have a Matt versus Michael that we can all get around. Okay, that involves everyone, and everyone will understand. Okay, okay. See, I would, uh, you know, people would, people would assume, people would assume that I'd come and go. Well, let's do movie trivia because Matthew knows movies, mm-hmm. but Matt would not do that to a friend. Matt would get everyone involved. So my idea for a Matt vs. Michael is who knows James Lee the best? Oh, big. Mm, that's pretty good. Because we both know and you understand and James is here. And ja- yeah, James can ask the questions too. <laughs> and James can come up with the questions. <coughs> oh, I've already Fairly. won this. I've already won this. <laughs> already won this. That was very good. Hang on. Are we judging on just the presentation or the idea as well? Yeah, the idea as well. Yeah, gotcha. everything. Yeah. Okay. So, um, all right, Michael. Is that it? Is that the whole show and pony, mate? I guess so, because you were very rude and cut me off, which is definitely hey. something that happens in a campaign, but I do not back down. This will be one of the best <laughs> Marty vs. Michaels I have ever seen because it could be comedic, it could be sad, it could be exciting, it could be amazing. It could be the best. I think you said the best before. 
I meant it. Repet- repetition. Donald Trump does that. Ladies and gentlemen, who knows James Lee the best? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'll even give you a clap. <laughs> yeah. That was- I'll give you two claps and I gave him already. Okay. Now, 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 now. Boring. <clears throat> Nobody wants to do now, 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 now. They want to do James Lee. We just heard, and I know, and you guys are all going to comment that you want this too, because you're going to come here and hear James ask some questions about himself, like, what's my middle name? And then we go, oh my God, I don't know. Oh, Please, James is a teacher. That is boring. <laughs> that is so boring, dude. It's like question and answer. That. That's why we cut the Q&A, dickhead. All right? <laughs> we are now, instead of that, we are going to battle. We're going to have a battle. And it's not like just, it's not physical because you're too strong. You're too big. I can't. Fair I enough. Can't. But this is battle of the minds, brother. This is battle of the words, the speech. Okay? Well, like who knows James Lee the better? Very we, good, Michael. We are going to have a rap battle and it is going to be a back and forth. Not just one rap each. We are going to have 15 seconds. Then you have 15 seconds. Then I'll have 15 seconds. And this goes on for three minutes. And then the boys will judge <laughs> who was the better Julian Woods at the end. <laughs> I think that's uh, lowering because I am an excellent rapper. And you've put yourself in trouble. Well, look, I, 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 want, came I out of friendship. I, I came out of friendship and something that everyone understands and everyone knows. Boring. Nobody's, nobody's going to know our raps. Everyone knows James Lee. I <sighs> guarantee you we will be bored with the Q&A about James's favorite color and James, how many parents James has. Okay, like that is stupid and dumb and shit. I can't wait to hear you rhyme. What'd you say? Exactly. <laughs> wow. Oh, we're in a sticky tough, situation. Man. Yeah, that is tough. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you sake. with me, Martin? That the the presentation, presidential feeling wise, I feel like Matt took it. But I, it, despite it being about me, I still, I'd still, I fucking really want to see Michael's segment. So I'm like torn between the best speech versus the best segment. Do you want yeah. entertainment? Or do you want like, yeah, do you want a showman or do you want a fucking just, yeah, some trivia on a Tuesday night? at the fucking pub about James Lee's fucking favorite, <laughs> how many girlfriends he's had and how old he is. Six, That's so stupid. <laughs> so like, yeah, see, do you want that? And I guarantee that I'll win in the comments. Hey, they laughed at that. They didn't laugh at your rap battle. Yeah, dude, I, as I said, I, I, I promised you they'll go with my idea. We were not doing a Q&A about James Lee. Oh man, that confidence I think wins it for me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, Matt. I want to oh, see. I'll shake my own I want to see Michael. Shaking my own segment. hand. <laughs> That's disappointing. And oh, imagine, yeah. imagine if I was like, no, lose. I want. I want to do the trivia about me, and then everyone in the comments are like, rap is better. <laughs> <laughs> Look, but they're both good ideas. I don't mind that. Shut up. Uh, I, like <laughs> your ideas. I like your idea too, Matt. So, look, I think for this week, I think Michael gets it. Yeah. What do you reckon, James? Yeah, I have to agree, I'm afraid. And and look, so if we'll do... If it was do... just on the speech of the campaign, though, not the idea yeah, you did as very, well, You Matt did a very wins. good campaign, Matt. Spoke you should be proud of yourself, mate. I thought that you was the idea, who there. can do the best campaign. Not the best idea. That were your words. Who can do the best campaign, not the best idea? Yeah, but like... Yeah, but I changed it. I changed it. Yeah, I changed it. Don't, Matt, hey, <laughs> the idea adds to the campaign. I'm a sore loser. I'm just going to bitch about this for a while. Hey, well, but, at least just but done. we'll do Michael's next week and then the week after we can do yours. Okay? Oh, yeah. I'm not saying we shouldn't do Michael's. Definitely we should do Michael's idea. Yeah. But I'm saying I campaigned it better. Yeah, well, you know. Which was what you told me to do. Yeah, but the idea adds to the overall campaign. I might have used too many swear words, but I'm pretty sure presidents have started swearing these days. And that's cool. (laughs) 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 Yeah, I'm shaking my head for that too. That was very good. (laughs) All right. Yeah, both very well done, boys. Well done. All right, so it is now 15.11, I think, to Matt, okay? Um, and fuck yeah, bro. That's fucking sick. But yeah. get ready next week because it's rapping time. And then the week after. Yeah, he said 1511 to you. It's really to me, but that's okay. <laughs> it's 1511 to me. Or it might be 1512, but could you guys no, double check that? 14? No, we'll 11? do it. We'll Isn't do it. 1411, right? I think it was 1411 this week. We'll have to check the scores. Yeah, yeah. we need to check the scores. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was 1411. I'm definitely winning. Anyway, sorry. What did Matt say? Uh, it adds up to 25, right? There was one, is, yeah, and this is the 26th episode. Yeah, so that should be right. Okay. Wow. So All right. I bet you've got to come oh, back quickly. We also as soon missed, as I get to 20, I'm, wow, yeah, 20 is win. 
Five off. Well, no, you because also missed because one as well. No, no oh, I has realized. That been ties? I know. I realized because there'll yeah, be episodes. There was one. Where there'll we be missed one. There'll be podcast episodes after the finale, and we'll have to have the winner decided by the finale. So it's I've, really only like right. thirty-seven episodes or something. So um, remember, we've missed one as well in the counting. I don't know if we we gave it to both of us on one of them. Yeah, exactly so right. That's exactly that right. Well. That's exactly right. So yeah, go back and help us out. But no, we'll no, look, look we'll too. do that. We'll, we'll have a look that. too. <laughs> we'll double, we'll cross. Yeah. This has been check. the prob- problem this year with the podcast. We don't bloody, we don't bloody check in things. We need shit. a board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Matt's you're tracking board? all of your fucking worm the games, comment, but board? not the podcast. The Matt's comment board. <laughs> oh yeah. <Cat. gasps> oh my God. Uh, Started off so well. We put it on three on there. It was so cute. A little canvas. <laughs> and little print is- bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, oh man. man, did we give all that money away to that? To that yeah, yeah, we did yeah, find yeah, him in the end. There was we? one person <laughs> who so many people emailing saying they they yeah. were that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so many people. Yeah, I got one dude that was like Dave Smith at Gmail, and he was like, "I am like just got a completely <laughs> different name." <laughs> no, you're not, Dave. <laughs> Very good, everyone. <gasps> all right, let's fucking move right along. You fucking cunt. Oh, Let's yeah. hear some fucking Tinder adventures. Oh, hit yeah. the hit it, Matt. You have all the questions, and I we have all the that. answers, and we've got lots of dances for you. Fuck, that's good. Oh, it's like a drug, that song. T I N D R, we have Matt's Tinder. Ha ha ha. Matthew Brown has lost control now. These women will lose their souls. All right, guys, this is Matt's Tinder adventures. And Matt, he's in his mid 40s and he can't seem to I'm find 36. a life partner. And so, Michael and I, we've taken it upon ourselves to help our dear friend Brown out. And we've made a Tinder for him using his his photos, his real name, everything is real, exactly the same. And I pretty much, I just, I pretend I am Matt and I speak to these girls on Tinder and I've screen recorded them. And now I'm going to read these conversations to you. So, this is how we think Matt would talk to girls anyway. Sorry, <laughs> oh, Michael did fluff. It was quite funny. Yeah, man. I don't think fluffs will ever not be funny. <laughs> like, oh. The older you get, almost the more ridiculous it is that it's funny. <laughs> like imagine us in 65 oh, and Michael man. running up to a mirror, pulling his pants down, <laughs> run, turning around and then fucking breathing in. As but he can't control his bowels, so oh, he shits man. every time. Like no, seeing a six-year-old do that is would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Dude, maybe we're like, Dude. maybe we're going to be like, like wine, like as we age, it becomes funnier and funnier. Yeah, dude, I hope so. <laughs> or just yeah, crazy. Oh. Or oh. just so like, it'll either go that way, it'll either be much funnier or we'll just be like fucking losers. <laughs> yeah, everyone who knows. <laughs> in a mental asylum. <laughs> we'll just be like, oh, these dudes are still doing that. That's it's so gross. gross. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could be that. <laughs> anyway, here we go, Matt. So... As you guys know, um, the first Tinder we had on Michael's um, old phone, that we got banned off of that one. So we had to make a new account on my old phone. So I'm, I think I matched with this girl on the first account because she opens with... <clears throat> hey again. Miss me, puppy? Oh, fuck. <clears throat> oh, oh, my God, Danny. How the hell have you been, sweetness? I wrote about you in my journal. <laughs> that's so weird we matched again. <laughs> oh, that's the nicest thing you've said to me. How you been and shit? I can't even remember why we unmatched. You were being mean. <laughs> <laughs> what? That doesn't sound like me. What did I say? Refresh my refresh my memory glands. You called me a bitch. Oh, oh no way. God. I seriously can't remember that. But if I did, I'm so sorry. That's not how I usually behave. Lol, just kidding. Don't fuck around with me like that, bitch. <laughs> Unmatched. <laughs> Dude, that is oh, so good. Such an instant U turn. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was lovely. And she unmatched. It's so good. <laughs> All right, so this next conversation, it's probably my favorite one that I've ever had. And I don't know why. It's just like, this is just to me, is just so funny. I just think what must be going through this girl's head. <laughs> 
it's just yeah i don't know why it's not like particularly gross or anything it's just like so manipulative of matt to do this like it's fully like matt. you think he's but by, by the end of it this hey, girl oh, must be thinking this guy's a fucking psychopath <laughs> anyway, this is, so it starts with this. I just throw a Hail Mary out. You know, Chris is a pretty common name. So I go... <clears throat> oh, God, this is a continuation, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think I only literally read the first two messages of this okay, la so. um, last week. So this is, a, yeah, a continuation from last week, but it progressed very nicely all in one day. <clears throat> you know my mate Chris? Hey, oh, Chris Hope? Uh, Brizzy is so small. <laughs> oh, yes, Hopey. He told me you guys hooked up a year ago, so there's nothing going on with you guys anymore. What? That is news to me. I never hooked up with Chris, so definitely nothing going on. Maybe you confused me with someone else? Did he take my co He did take my cousin on a date. How was your weekend? Get up to anything fun? I had a massive one in Sydney for a few days for a conference. Oh, no, it's definitely Hopey. I showed him your pics and he got a bit weird and said you guys hooked up like a year ago. How do you know him? Weekend was good, just relaxed and caught up with friends. Sydney is so good. Last time I was there, I won 50 grand at the pokies. <laughs> <laughs> that is so hilarious. He's my neighbour. He lives about six doors down from me on the same street. Only started dating in December. I'm good friends with his roommate, Marion, and go out with her most weekends. He's very confused. Anyways, that is so random and entertaining. <clears throat> Sounds like a fun weekend. I got back to Brizzy Thursday last week. <laughs> So I had one night in Brizzy, went up to Sunny Coast, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what do you do, Matt? I'm in change management and a very dull conference today. Oh, wait, so you actually didn't hook up with Hopi? <laughs> well, that is so weird. He was oddly specific about how you guys hooked up. I might not mention it to him anymore. He might get embarrassed. Oh, yeah, he's spoken about Marion too. Oh, wow, small world, hey? I would suggest we all go out together, but I'm a bit worried about Hopi now. You sure you haven't? I wouldn't say anything to anyone. <laughs> I work for Crocs Australia, the shoe company, head of marketing for the team. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, that is so strange. No, definitely never. What was the story? I hope it was interesting, at least. So weird. I have even had chats about with him about the fact that his taste in women is a bit off. We are completely <laughs> friends, nothing else. And as I said, I started dating in December. Was with no one before then. This is seriously weird. Was it a big nothing type of thing? Yeah, would be seriously weird. I wonder why he made that up when he knew we'd match. Super weird. Oh, marketing, fun, blah, 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 blah. I'm now blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I texted him and he called straight away. He seemed pretty certain. He said you guys definitely hooked up and that, we, that you got really jealous when he dated your cousin or something. He said you've done this before where you deny it. I don't, I don't really want to get in the middle of anything and it doesn't seem like Chris really wants me talking to you. You seem like a great girl though, but yeah, this is just getting a bit weird. He, he said you deny it because you were with someone else. But yeah, I don't want to be the middle man for this kind of drama. Yeah, fair enough. This is super weird. I'll be having a chat to Chris about spreading bullshit. <laughs> You know, I wouldn't have judged you if you'd been just been honest. I've made plenty of mistakes in my relationship. And even Chris said it was just a one-time thing with you, so I wouldn't have cared. Oh my god. Just one-time things are fine. Just not with my... With Chris, my damn neighbour. Chris can be weird, but this is next level. Marion is one of his best friends. There's no way I'd make things so damn awkward for a night of wild sex with Chris. <laughs> Lol. Okay, Bell. Just kind of hard to believe that Chris would just make this stuff up. He was very detailed. He even made the sounds that you guys were making during <laughs> sex and said you guys were sucking each other's tongues. Oh, God. Oh, I've cheated in the past too. Would never again, but I've done it too. <clears throat> Poor Chris, you're an evil friend. Oh, no, I'm just kidding around. I don't even know what Chris heard. <laughs> anyway, when are you back from Sydney? Can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> Should we hang out when you get back from Sydney? She it's never replied. <laughs> Dude, that is fucking dark. <laughs> I, I freaked out. I was like, I didn't want her to go home and talk, actually talk to her neighbor I about that. Honestly, think you should have. That would have been. Oh so my God. Imagine her reply saying, "I just spoke to Chris." <laughs> That oh, would have been dude, gold. Yeah, shit. Oh, yeah. I just freaked out because I was like, I imagine if I somehow ruined their relationship. 
Oh, dude, she's got plenty of friends. Yeah, fuck it. Next time, okay, next time. Do you reckon she texted brutal. him? I don't know. She definitely would have after. I've been like, look at this psycho's just fucking <laughs> lied so much about this. How good to the end? Where, like, suck. just admit that this manipulative long spiel where he says, like, the most graphic detailed shit. And then he's like, anyway, how Sydney, like, instantly changes the topic. Like, it's nothing. <laughs> just completely tricked her. Tell her oh. that. They suck oh my God. <laughs> when oh. she thinks of your face, that's who she think you, she thinks I you are. you are. Oh my yeah. God, dude. Imagine she thinks if, you're a psychopath. Imagine if you ended up with her. Do you have a <laughs> just a quick picture so I know what to block when someone comes out? Oh, dude, me. or to <laughs> defend yourself. Yeah. She's going to swing. That, yeah, especially Chris. Hope he's out there. He's listening to this. He's going to come and find oh, you, bro. Oh, yeah, Chris Hope. <laughs> Oh man, that was that was one of the best ones yet. You were right. Oh, He's an upcoming good. UFC fighter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, that would massive be knockout power. Normal boring name is always a UFC yeah. fighter too. All right, <laughs> All right here's like another Matt one. Brown. <clears throat> Manipulate me to your liking. It's the cleavage, isn't it? I want to pack up my things and build a shelter on your tits. I want to worship them every day and protect them from evil. I want to suck on your breasts until you start lactating. Then I want you to sustain me. <laughs> Whoa. Sustain. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you say it like that, of course. I'm e I've emailed my real estate telling them I'm breaking my lease. When can I move into your tits? <laughs> Yesterday. Are you working tonight? I need to see your tits. <laughs> You will just have to join the queue of men that wish to see them. Oh, for fuck's sake. How long is it? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty long. However, you can jump the queue depending on length and girth. Huh. Girth isn't an issue. Length could use some work. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like a tennis ball. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. Oh. Poor thing. <laughs> oh, no, trust me. It's still a great time. <laughs> How do you know for certain? Or are these girls lying? <laughs> I can tell they aren't lying because they say it's so intense that they don't want to fuck ever again. <laughs> so yeah, pretty confident. And she hasn't replied. Uh, <laughs> oh, is she hot? Um, oh. <laughs> this sustain me. Imagine like hearing that like a potential partner, instead of working, you have to treat him like a baby and just like let him breastfeed oh, yeah. on your tit all day. <laughs> That's the oh. man. Um, let me just go to a quick bong break and I'll see. Bong, the bong, the bong, the bong, the bong, 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 Quick bong break and we'll be back with P.O. Box and mm. um, fucking. Oh, Tales of Bethlehem. Ta and Tales yes. of Bethlehem, everyone. Yes. Sick it. Have you ever grossed Amber out? I'm trying to think of the times I've really grossed Mon out. Oh, dude. One of the best times was when we were driving. She was driving and I had a huge fart but made it out like I was under attack. <laughs> it was like riding up the, the door of the car. <laughs> and like spread it out. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she was in shock for like half an hour. Oh she had God, to like so process it and go, I, I don't know if I like what to do about that. Oh, like that was, shit. it shocked and it was way early on. It was like a month in. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, grossing out girlfriends is fun, guys. Um, send us vo send us voicemails. I want to hear some stories from you boys. Times you've grossed out your girlfriend, and we'll play them on the fucking potty next week. Yeah, that is send yeah. them to Marty Michael fully actual. Just a voice memo of you explaining the story of how the time you grossed your girlfriend out, and uh, we'll play a few next week. Cause fuck me, that's good shit, can't eh? I? I can't, I'm trying to think of times I've grossed mine out. Of, she's kind of hard to gross out now. Fighting is nothing to her. I can do a squirty two meters away from her and she <laughs> doesn't even react anymore. She won't even look up. <laughs> what if yeah. it reeks? What if it's Yeah, smells? yeah, that. But even that is like living with Bosley, nothing can compare to him. So yeah. mine are always like, you know, whatever. So yeah, that's nothing shit related. I've never really vomited, pissed on her. Oh, fuck. With. Mm. With Kim. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know no. Story. So we both got food poisoning, eating fish and chips. <laughs> oh. And um, I'll tell the quick version. But, yeah, basically, I woke up. I was feeling pretty shit and woke up about one in the morning. <laughs> I 
I went and started vomiting into the toilet. But I started like, like I know I like started like getting diarrhea as well at the same time. So like the, the, the force of pushing vomit out started making me shit as well. <laughs> Wow. And so I've like both ends. Yeah, so it's coming out both ends. Are you on like, all fours? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, was just, I was struggling, and and she's obviously vomiting. We took turns, and but yeah, on mine. <laughs> so you dirtied the floor. Hang on, I, I like panicked because I could feel myself shitting, oh. and I fucking pulled my hand out and grabbed one of her towels. Oh. And slid under me. So I've shat on her towel, which which like a trooper, she was like, yeah, yeah, don't it's worry a towel. about it. Yeah, that's it's cool. all good. But I um uh, I grossed her out by taking it to the spare room and chucking it into what I thought was like a laundry basket. I don't know why. With the towel with shit all over it. Yeah, but I was I was delirious. And I was like, I was thinking I'm putting it in the laundry basket, but I think it was her fresh laundry. Oh, oh. <laughs> I put it, I put it there, and oh she never let that God. down for me. Oh that is wow! Better than yeah. it's hot. <laughs> Imagine if you just threw it into the cot. Oh, <laughs> oh dude! Imagine. <laughs> but yeah, that was a oh, bad one, is and that was embarrassing. All of a sudden, oh my! I had to God. sit there as she, uh, the next day when she'd figured out that the shit towel was like in there. Yeah. She's like, oh, did you man. not put this like in the laundry? I was like, yeah, put it in the basket of fresh clothes. If yeah. we're getting into like, I guess this is sort of, I guess, Tales of Bethlehem segment, but shit stories, you reminded me of a time, you know, when you're so drunk and then you all of a sudden you just come back to, or you, you're so fucked Never up. Never happened to me. We're not alcoholics, <laughs> no. Michael. <laughs> well, like I, I remember like I just came back into the world and I had mum just clicking in my face going, oh, yeah. oh, Michael, no, I've heard Michael, oi. And I just go, whoa, what's up, mum? And then she just like, points. <laughs> you fucked me. There's shit everywhere. <laughs> and I always, I turn oh. around and look at the bathroom and I've just like a kid Play-Doh'd shit under the walls and the floor. <laughs> and I look at my hands and I'm just covered in <laughs> shit. Oh my God, you Ozzy Osbourne oh. to the fucking, your room. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the bathroom. Oh, man. Oh. And my Oma and Opa, my grandparents, no. were there staying at the time. Oh, fucking hell, Why were dude. you drunk? And what did you say? You're like, oh, Marty oh, did I it. Named it on Marty. <laughs> no. <laughs> Marty did it. It's his knee-joke reaction of fucking blame me. Oh, oh man. And then, like, <laughs> did you get in trouble? No, I no, went to my room and Marty had left because he yeah, couldn't sleep. Thank God. I walked home from Michael's all the way to mine because I couldn't sleep for some reason. Thank God I did. Otherwise... I might have fucking copped the Dude, blame and that was man. It was it was hard to come Why'd back from that. Why did you shit everywhere? Don't know. I mean, this is my vision. Okay, this is my theory. <laughs> I think what happened was I shat throughout the night in my pants. Yeah. Okay. I to, to make the boys laugh. No. 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 Just maybe I had diarrhea. Okay. Maybe I was just real paralytic. Like I got <laughs> fucked up. Jeez. <laughs> then I I went to the toilet realizing I'd shat my undies, or I'd get, I'd rush to the toilet. I'm rushing to the toilet. Didn't make it in time, couldn't pull my undies down in time, got shit in my undies. Then as I've realized, I've stood up, pulled my pants down, shit's gone all over the floor. Oh. I've slipped around a bit. I've slipped in my shit a bit. <laughs> I've got shit on my hands. And then somehow I've just sort of gone all Jesus. over the bathroom in a, in a ruckus. Oh my God. That's my theory. Was it on the walls and yeah, shit? Yeah. I did that when I was like <laughs> Me three too. or four. I know, that's oh what I mean. God. And I was like- How old were you? I'm going to say 19 or 18, 19. Oh my God. Wow. So a kid, well, kids back then. Yeah, I'm like still parents, a teenager. Parents so, tell that story about their like four year olds, but, but that was rough. Mum, it was weird. That for was us. only alcohol too. It was no like days. You yeah, think I there'd be imagine. some other drugs involved, but no, Ooh. it was all just. But anyway, these are all. Anyway, let's. let's James, you have James? a. This is the. Oh, yeah. What are we calling this? Tales of Bells of Bath and we'll have to make a jingle for it. Yeah. Well, cool. this was again when we were like, how, like, probably like 20. 21 or so back in the heyday but we're like i just i just love the two stories as two of them of dropping luke home oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck me because like we, he just he used to get this this last opportunity when we drive him home or so whoever was driving home would just drop him there and he had this last opportunity to make us all laugh so it would always be something and luke's go-to to make us all laugh is just to destroy things so like the first one and the less funny one i reckon was he just he was like turned back to us and he was like he asked he was yeah, like a, should i break my fence <laughs> and we're all like his parents yes, house yes, Luke, do it. he's like well, staggers over his fence and starts 
ripping palings off this fence, like yeah. one after the other. So and then just goes fence. inside. Yeah. And those fence palings were gone for years. Yeah. They were ripped out oh, for years. It changed his house. Yeah. Oh. But by far the best one. And fuck me, it's, the, it's just one of the best things I've ever seen. We dropped him off and he was like walking towards his house. And his house had like a power line out the front that led to, led all the way to the front of his house and from this power line there was this huge um like palm leaf hanging and you know like palm leaves get that u at the top yeah, the so hook. Yeah. quite stuck on there <laughs> so luke saw it and like i guess it's another opportunity to make us giggle just leapt and grabbed on this palm leaf and just pulled down as hard as he could on this power line and we were like a bit panicked thinking fuck you get electrocuted or something but something way better happened the power line was connected to the front of the house that I said, and it just ripped the whole front awning off his Yeah, house. like two stories up. So it's like a two-story house. On the second story, it just gets ripped out of the wall, like this massive fucking bit of house bit just of gets house. ripped out and slams into his front yard. And then like fucking 10 seconds later, his dad comes running outside at like 3.30 a.m. Luke, what's... But like, he had... He's like, surely Luke didn't just do that. He couldn't do that. Because Luke's like 20 meters away, standing with us with seeing ourselves laughing and Luke's just in shock looking at his house holy fuck and so his dad was like oh Luke didn't do that Luke can't possibly yeah, do that I think he did so it so they still to this day just think that it was a coincidence that Luke rocked up home and fucking a chunk of their house got ripped out of the wall oh man I, feel, I don't think they know still yeah. god we should get Luke on to call, call his call. dad yeah. one day oh and, and admit to, to Noel yeah oh that'd be brilliant oh, that was fucked because it ripped a huge Huge big house out. Yeah. That was so good. <laughs> just landed in the front yard. <laughs> and then they had, they had possums and shit get in through that hole in the yeah, house. Yeah, All yeah. sorts of issues. And, was, and Luke's dad, <laughs> Luke said his dad one night that he's got so over this possum, <laughs> just ran up to it and grabbed it just by the scrub of the neck and just <laughs> threw it outside. <laughs> Can you imagine watching that? <laughs> he caused his house to have crabs of bottom. He had a beehive guys, in the walls of his house. <laughs> really? <laughs> I didn't know that. If you guys knew Luke and his family, it's even funnier because they're all just such like chilled Aussie yeah. fucking family. Yeah. Oh man, holy fuck! They got a beehive, really? Yeah, dude. Oh yeah, my god, very good. That yeah, like, such a personality. <laughs> oh, Luke fuck. likes to just destroy it. <laughs> yeah. There's a little show at the end of a night. Oh, man, it was good. Fucking hell. So out. funny because it's his parents' house. It's not even his house. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing him a favor, Luke. Letting him stay there still. <laughs> it's the ultimate disrespect. The front of the house off. <laughs> Holy shit! It's so I think rude. It's such a good story. That is so rude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was Tales of Bethlehem, boys. Yeah, very good. Oh, well done. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like there's a bit of a. Um, also, uh, we've seen a lot of the comments. Um, people are annoyed that the Q and A out of the all of all the segments that we've cut, the Q and A is sorely missed. Um, so fuck it, let's let's do it fortnightly then. All right, how's that, guys? We'll do it fortnightly. We'll answer five questions. So comment your questions on the Mighty Michael Fully you actual YouTube channel, and we'll answer the most liked questions first, like we always have done. Okay, we'll do it Can every we start next two week? weeks. Yeah. Um. And um. The the black book. Look, we're gonna have a crack. I'll write them every now and then, but if um we keep getting age restricted and shit we might uh, i was thinking we should just put our uncensored um podcast on the website and just like so people don't even need to sign up or anything they can just watch it somewhere because fuck making people pay for that we'll just fucking um put it somewhere for free but work in progress i'm just speaking on the fly here but mm. don't worry we will we don't want um to have to cut all the good shit that makes this podcast what it is so we won't it's a decline here huh all right, let's move on. P.O. Box. Do we don't have a jingle for that? The no, fuck? We can work on that. Improvise hey. one, Michael. Quick. And three, two, two one. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and the P.O. Box. Mm. That's all I got. Sorry. Fucking hell, man. I said P.O. Box, but I had to okay. sort of the syllable there. Okay, this like this one looks like it's from you know who. Okay, um, guys, if you want to send us shit to, on our PR box, it's PR box 256 Tagum 4018 Queensland, Australia. We open know. everything it's live, okay? And we're after oh. hair. If you've got pubic hair, send it in. Uh, before you do, keep an eye out for one that's addressed to me. It's But you guys aren't allowed to see it. 
No. So just keep an eye out for that. What, whatever happens, happens, Matt Brown. Okay. Postman right. Pat and his joke. <laughs> oh, yuck. We got another one. Oh, another used condom? Oh, Why yuck. is that happening now? Oh, oh my God. Holy that was close. Fuck, dude, that's been in someone. There's fucking sperm floating in the air now. <laughs> No, oh, I don't want to breathe in too much. My early lungs will get in pregnant. the morning, he likes yeah, to yeah. get Put it in your mouth, early. Early. Put it in your mouth yeah, man. A- put it in your oh mouth. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Put it. Put it. Put he it. Won't. That's that's Matt, the level. You get six hundred and fifty dollars if you do it. Shut up. Three, yep. two, one, all the way in. Go. There's definitely something in there. Oh man, look! We're, yeah, don't hold it up like that. This is already too graphic. Too I don't want to look at that up close. It I don't is know why just you're a napkin. It. Oh just yeah, a napkin. you're touching it. That's Let's that's been on someone and in someone. Yeah, early hand. in the morning, he likes to get up early. It is oh. in the morning, and that's our PO box, guys. I need to wash my hand. <laughs> oh. Is, oh, there, is, there, is, there, is there any more? Is there? A, yeah, there's quite a few more, isn't there? There's a package, isn't there? Check a look on that lady. Yeah, yeah, but Brown, quickly oh. open that one. Ooh. It's just hair. This one. Oh, hang on. This is looks like fake hair. It's still hair is hair, man. Hair is hair, bro. Or it's hair. Who's look at that hair? That's oh wow. Well, maybe. We are going to glue oh, all of this hair on it Matt's looks like head. It's from a finale, young guys. child from Korea. So keep it coming. That looks fake, but still. Early. Oh, I'd man, rather that this than segment nothing. is so fucked, eh? Oh, hang on a bit more. <sighs> Hair and condoms. Fucking open. Ooh. I missed that. <laughs> and that's it. That's the gargle. Fully actual. That was an okay one. Find your thing. What the fuck is that? This looks like a... It could be anything. Michael's opening an envelope currently. Is that a photo? It's a sticker. Oh, it's a fucking sticker. Oh, it started. Oh, wow. Matt, well, you haven't, we haven't someone's made. a lucky boy, I guess... Look, look at, <laughs> how can you look? Hold that up to the yeah, fucking very camera. Very good. <laughs> Easily distracted <laughs> by recycling. I believe this is from Matthew Brown. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh. Um, take a fucking bow. Who I, said I actually that? had a sticker for this week, but uh, this will take it. <laughs> oh, well, from there, let's just quickly segue into Matt's fucking. Fucked sticky oh, shit. Should, should we get a quick package? We haven't had a package. Yeah, yeah, yeah while we'll do he's doing, while he's talking, we can open that package. I know what that one is. That is Shirts. fucking brilliant. Oh, okay, so let's. No, the no, let's speed open at which that I came. Told open okay. Thank early, you so much. Who was that from? Anyone? Was it Julian? Did we got Julian a pen. Say he was going to do that. Whoa. No, I know who it was. Who was? Oh, really? He's sitting out in the fucking room. Oh, oh that's done. right, Lukey, was it? Luke Allen sent that. Dude, that is beautiful. <laughs> Very good, Lukey. <laughs> Around mates. This oh, is yeah. so. These guys are a um, mental health group. So this is from um, this is why this is guy started a, a something called Around Mates. All right, so fucking bit of a read here, boys. My my name is Scott Vesty, and I'm the founder of Around Mates. I grew up in a small country town of Mathora, which is situated between you you Ich Ichika and Denikulon. Ichuka. Men and women across Australia need to know that they are not alone and they need mates out there that want to listen and want to help. Everyone's story is different, but no less important. We are not alone. The hardest step is to <clears throat> is the first step in coming along to an Around Mates Incorporated barbecue catch-up could be the first step in getting that help that you need. Please don't think of us of the barbecues as counselling sessions. They are just get-togethers where you can come along, enjoy a sausage or hamburger or, or both, a soft drink, and some conversation with people that have been through similar things. You can talk about anything everything or nothing i would love to do this on a full-time basis and take it australia wide but it takes serious funding and exposure thank you guys thank you so much again guys i hope you like the t-shirts and keep doing what you do all right cheers scotty well there you go very important message guys and if you are fucking feeling a bit shit about everything have a look at around mates incorporated because <clears throat> everyone does up. need a mate hold the shirts up he sent some shirts through so matt you don't have to do your laundry for another day because and we got some beer cool. stubbies because everyone needs some bands and some mate. pens. <clears throat> mm. All right, boys, there you go. Thank you very much, Scotty. Thank you so much, dude. All right, Matt. How are you? Yeah. Are you going to look that up around mates? <laughs> oh. Must be shit. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's hurt himself badly. <laughs> what the fucking two? 
<laughs> Michael. Stop! Oh. <laughs> ah. You're trying to hurt my knee because yours hurts. Does that make mate. you want a beer? A little bit. Yeah, me too. Oh. What are the balls? Place. Little squishy stress oh. balls. Oh. oh my God, boys. Get that out of my oh, face. Oh no. no. Someone has sent it a massive <laughs> fucking doing variety Michael. jumbo Michael. pack. A massive variety jumbo pack. Oh my lord. Oh no. Oh, oh. we got fucked with! <laughs> That's so good! Inside the jumbo oh, bag! That's so good! There's nothing. There's a fucking doll. Oh, it's a up. doll! Oh, Jesus, that's terrifying. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Dude, it's oh, gonna it's be a like. a Matt Brown girlfriend! And a, oh, there's a dildo here. Is that a girlfriend for Matt Brown? Oh, this is a boyfriend for Matt Brown. Okay. There's, a, there's a note there. Oh, there's a note. Check all. Oh, ah. it's saying, oh, there's a note on the inside there. This is kind of creepy, eh? Dude, it's like Annabelle's daughter. I like it. Thank you for your podcast. This lovely lady wants to join the hunt for Bachelor Brown. Uh -huh. oh, wow, you have a girlfriend. Oh, Look, there's a stand here. That connects to... Oh, I thought it was She's a She's got a name. No way it's called Judy Brown. Well, it says Judy. And then she's going to marry you, so Man. it's going to be Judy Brown one day. <laughs> Man. Very good. We need that. Oh man, yeah, Scissors? that's creepy. All right, guys, let's move along, eh? Is that all? Oh, oh we've just that's got to see everything. what this dick is. Have you got those scissors? Well, oh, you can open up the other one if you want. It's very I'm quick. I'm gonna put this crazy, scary bitch right there. Oh you man! And we've got. All right, guys, final segment: the prank call. We'll save it for next week. Are you up for it? All right, guys. Instead of the prank call, I'm just not in a prank call mood, so we're just going to do a lying to Lucky segment instead, and Michael is going to take over. My it God. would be actually legit if James, because yes. he'd believe it, because James can do a really stern voice. James can act, oh, dude. On. Okay, this is going to work, I think. So basically, um, Lucky thinks that. So, your phone well, yeah. Let's explain, explain the lie. Oh, okay, Lucky, I spoke to him earlier today about a transaction that was made to his account, which from was us. which was so we on you know the new app Threads. I had ran a comment competition on there. Whichever comment got the most likes wins five hundred bucks. I on Threads you can't you have to manually count the likes on fucking comments. So it took me ages and I fucked up and I thought Lucky won. So I sent Lucky the five hundred. It turns out someone else won, so I had to contact Lucky again and be like, can you send that money back, please? And he's like, oh, yeah, all good, all good. Oh, all so he good. did send it back. <laughs> <laughs> then we paid the other person. Yeah, then we paid won. the other person that actually won. So, yeah, this, this we're going to now tell Lucky that our accountant has said that that 500 bucks never came back. Evening, Mr. Lee. Hey, dude, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, man. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry to call you so late. It's a bit of a fucking random one. We've been dealing with all these finance shit with our accountants the last two days, and they're trying to keep sending us these huge PDF documents with all of these payments that are missing and stuff. So we're just trying to work out where all of our money is for these missed transactions. But anyway, Michael told me he called you earlier about the... that. Oh, weird, I, had three, um, I had three minutes called, but he was on the phone to Jackson, so I think that was going. Oh, was did he tell you about... Did he tell you about the... um? Remember that giveaway, that dumb giveaway thing we did on Threads about the top comment or whatever, and we yeah. and we sent you five hundred bucks or something. Yeah, I sent it back. I told Marty it was so weird if I won. Yeah, no. Well, that's 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 the weird part though, because our accountants come back because on I, I like wrote on the on the receipt that I sent back to her today, like that five hundred dollars was sent back, and she looked and she was like, no, it hasn't been sent back, and. So it's like now we're like in this awkward position where there's like this five hundred dollars randomly around. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it right now. I was sent. Are you sure you sent it back to the right account though? Marty and man, I'm, I'm, it's such an annoying thing that I have to bug you about this, but we've done all because of these giveaways on the website. There's like tax fucking issues right now, and it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But I'm just sick of fucking emails from her. Um, yeah, I'll do a screenshot. Yeah, if you could screenshot it and send it send it back to me, that'd be really good. Yeah. You're being lied to, Loki. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. You already sent it. We know you did. You sent it back that day, Loki. You fucking Fool. idiot. I sent another $500. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I convinced him to send us another $500. <laughs> Enjoy this. My account is like, why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> sorry, Loki. Oh. I love you though. Sorry, Loki. Thanks. Sorry, sorry for wasting. We'll time. send you the five hundred bucks again, <laughs> and then, yeah. but then send it back. Yeah, send that five hundred dollars. I sent back. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you, dude. Um, see you, dude. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, guys. That's our prank call today, everyone. I hope you like the podcast. I'll see you guys next week. All right. We're the best. We're the best. best. Do We're 10 best. star jumps, Matt. I can't. Sorry. We hey, are the best. Matt's knees hurts. Matt's knees sore, isn't it? Knees. We've got all the. We're the best. And and you've got We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. Should we end on a jingle Before dance? You. Nah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you have all the questions and we have all the answers and we've got lots of dances for you oh my god <laughs> anyway bye